Good morning, brothers and sisters, or the viewers of Radio Tele Solidarity. We have a with us today two youth from Huntington for an interview at Radio Tele Solidarity. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Well, good afternoon. Yeah. How are you today? We're doing good. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, could you tell me a little bit about you, Marco? Uh, my name is Malcolm Eugene. I'm a Stony Brook graduate. I graduated from Stony Brook in 2013 with uh, my bachelor's in sociology. Um, I played uh, football. Um, yeah. From Huntington. Uh, you don't have any dream for the future? Uh, yeah. A lot of dreams. Uh, one, actually, I'm studying right now to take my um, LSAT so I could get into law school. Hopefully, get into law school one day. Uh, and you, Patrice, what you can tell me about you? Uh, my name is Patrice Spiegel. Uh, 24 years of age. Uh, I'm attending right now Suffolk Community College to finish my associates and transfer out to do psychology. And um, hopefully, in the future, end up working at a high school uh, with younger children to help them towards their battles in life and to show them that they can be better than who they are. Uh, you see, me, you have a good project, a project uh, to have a talk show at Radio uh, Telecity. What can you tell me about uh, uh, your project? I mean, the reason why we kind of want to start this is because like our own experiences, like with me and him and our relationship as best friends, like we just We've came from a lot, we've seen a lot in our lives, but it hasn't stopped us from trying to be better than who we are. So basically we kind of, at our age, we can kind of relate to younger children because we've been through those phases as well. So we want them to understand that it's all right and it's perfectly normal to go through what you go through and to have doubts and fears, but we kind of want you to understand that those things are not real that you can always be better than who you are. And it kind of starts like, even with me and him being his best friends, like it starts with your surroundings and like making better choices in life. And it's never too late to start, you know? Everyone starts somewhere. And, uh, well, just to piggyback on what Patrice is saying, I would say that the key with, with is, is education and um, how, how, how we're gonna educate our youths. Um, one thing that, well, would, brought us close together and is the lack of, of positive male role models and and people doing the right thing and, and teaching you the right thing. Um, it's so easy being being from Huntington and being familiar with this area and then go, going to school and seeing other area, you, you notice how easy it is to get lost or uh, caught up. So um, we're proactive about the radio show just to be a voice to, to, to the youth and let them know that that knowledge is power and, and educating yourself is a key to, to becoming successful and, and just giving them um, knowledge and insight on other opportunities and avenues that they could take to, to better themselves in the future so they don't make the same mistakes that we made as children or yeah. moving forward. What, what do you can expect of your talk show? Um, Answers. Um, Maybe we can't answer all of your questions, but we can guide you to where you need to go. Like, if you have questions for us, then we'll be more than happy to answer us. We'll, we'll give our emails on the talk show, of course, and we'll just respond to you that way. But basically, like, everything that you go through won't be so much of a surprise to us, but life is about having a different perspective on everything, you know? You can learn, we can learn from each other. So, and me and him are two positive people. We just show it in different ways. So, I'm more, I feel like I'm more, I go loving, I go, like I'm more loving about it. And he's more like pushing your buttons or he, he tests you because he wants to bring out the best in you. You know, that's kind of our relationship yeah. as well. So, we try, we're going to just try to add that to the radio and to our viewers as well. Yeah, so I would say more of um, just positivity, love, and then a judgment-free zone. Um, we live, I feel like, 
we live in a society where we're constantly judged and, and put in put in different groups and categories based on based on what we believe in. So um, this is just a place where you know you can openly express your opinion. You know, uh, one thing we talk about a lot is I don't always agree with him, and we he doesn't always agree with me, but we respect each other's perspective, and we appreciate the fact that he he has an opinion. So we just want people to to be okay with 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 their opinions and and respect perspective of others. Okay. That's basically it, really. I mean, that's the format of the show. Um, we can go to different topics. It doesn't have to be just your problems or just going step by step on building your goals or anything that really that you're thinking about because like I feel like just as human beings we think a lot and sometimes we don't have a someone to listen to us or we can't voice what we want to say but like we want to create an environment where you can as just as much as this is our talk show but we want to make it your talk show as well we want you to have a say in anything that you want to say because like we can learn from each other that way. Because you can give me something that I don't know. True. You know what I mean? And then just the, the beauty the beauty and maturity, the beauty and growth. I mean, this is something that we're going to start. And six months from now, it could be something, it's going to be something totally different. And then it's just the progress. It's, the, it's a process. And I think that, like, what we can show the youth with this radio show is that it's consistency and hard work. Are, are things and nothing is going to come easy overnight so I mean as we progress as in, in our other endeavors like school and moving forward as individuals like we want to be able to be open and honest about how we feel about our daily lives while while those are things that other people can relate to also mm -hmm. so I agree. it's just it's a, it's just a journey it's almost like us exploiting ourselves and, and being vulnerable to everybody else allowing people inside to show our lives and maybe that, that'll help them in, in ways that they can relate to the things that we go through, you know? I definitely agree with what he's saying. This is exactly what we're trying to do. Uh, yeah. do, do you want to invite some youth uh, to, for, for interviews? Yeah. yeah, we could definitely do that. Well, but more importantly, I want, we are the youth, you know? Change starts with us for our generation. So just as much as we want to do this radio show, we need you as well, you know. We need you to listen to us. And we're going to listen to you. We're going to give you the same respect right back. But the thing about it is, is like, we want to change our generation. We want to change the world one step at a time. And we're going to need you as well to help us out. You know, we can do this together. Because honestly, like, me and him are just two men. We can't just do it ourselves. So, this is a group thing, you know. I guess just we all have to step up and play our part. You know, maybe this is just our part, you know, just by putting ourselves out there because we're comfortable with that. But we want you to join us as well, you know. Um, that, that's how change starts, and it's to be unified, to be together, because we're so powerful together. So, yeah, and I wouldn't say just interviewing the youth. I mean, there, there's people who, who have experienced like that, you know, that we're familiar with, like role models that have, have impacted our lives like that. The youth may... They need to voice their opinion. So I mean, I think it's more of a, a community thing. Like we wanna, we want the community to be involved because that's the only way we'll grow is as a community. So. What can you tell me about uh, the youth of Huntington? Uh, I take this one. I got this. Okay. I would say that um, there's a there, there's a there's a there's a there's a misconception. Uh, well, I think that the media plays plays a big part. In, in what the youth of Huntington and the youth all over are subjected to it. And there is a lack, a real lack of positive male role models uh, of people giving them direction. And, um, and just the lack of uh, responsibility and accountability. There's nobody there to, to force these kids to be accountable, to be responsible. There's nobody to teach them certain lessons that, that need to be learned. And then um, there's, there's nobody that they feel like they can relate to. And that's where me and Patrice come in because we're, we're at the park and, and we're familiar with these, with these kids. You know, we know them by name. They know us by name. And they're comfortable with us. So um, we just want to be a mediator for to say things 
that parents want to say in a language that the, that the youth will understand. So, so we can all educate it. It just comes down to education, to having the knowledge and knowing so moving forward we can grow. And, and that's what we want to do. Yeah, that's basically what we're trying to do. Because, like, we do lack it. We Even me and him lacked it, I feel. We, you know, we just, we were just fortunate of meeting or being around great people. And some of us aren't. So you can't really just point the blame and say, this kid is bad or this kid doesn't know any better. Because obviously, like, the kids are a reflection of our environment. So the more that we change that, the more our kids will change, you know? If that's like saying, like, you, you see this kid, I know who your friends are, you know? Just by the way he acts. I see his friends, I'm definitely going to know who you are. So that also goes with family as well. That also comes with the people he's around as well. It's not just friends. I feel like parents are always pointing the blame at friends all the time. Yeah, they play a part, but how, like, you need to play your part as well. We are all responsible for our generation. We all play a key to that. So if we were great, then there'd be no excuses for our kids. You know, they would automatically learn from us. So I feel like this is just going to be great to point those things out. So, but I don't want kids to feel uncomfortable or the youth to feel uncomfortable with knowing, like, I've made these mistakes. Like, we've all made mistakes for human beings. I mean, I'm not perfect. Malcolm's not perfect. There's no one around us that's really perfect. I feel like through the problems that we've shared or the things that we've seen, it kind of put us in a position where we had to be better because it's like we wouldn't appreciate growth if we didn't go through bad times or we didn't make the many mistakes that we've made. So I feel like this is going to be a beautiful process as long as we, we work together with it. Definitely. Uh, what uh, are really the problems and challenges uh, facing the youth of Huntington? Um, the more the challenges are, I feel like kids have lost their ways. They're, we're distracted by things that we shouldn't be distracted by, you know? The kids are always inside. Um, technology is a distraction. It even distracts us at the end of the day. But not. I just don't think it affects us as much as others because we can still focus on our priorities. But, like, kids are not outside or learning their, learning sports because sports is just more than sports. It's more than just shooting a ball. I'm used, just using basketball as a reference. Um, it's more than just shooting a ball. It's learning how to respect the people around you because now you're in an environment with people. It's easy to sit down and play video games and talk through, um, just, what did they talk to that? Hello? Headphones, right? It's easy to do that, but just learning how to interact with people Two teams playing each other on the court. These guys are going to help you in a game. Just basketball alone, you need a team to succeed. Your goal is to win the game. So it kind of learns you how to work well together. You know what I mean? So you learn to respect each other that way. Well, we, and, then, and then being a kid from Huntington and then seeing kids in Huntington, I would say that one of the biggest problems around is, is free time and lack of, lack of programming and activities. To keep to keep them occupied, like um, free time is no good when you're a kid. Um, everybody knows that, you know, because then you you wander, you get curious. So I would say that it's definitely it's, they have a lot of time on their hands with with limited amount of responsibility. And then in today's society with technology, we're learning more. We're learning at a faster rate. And then it's just about what what they're subjected to, like what the, what they're seeing, what they're hearing, and then how they're going to interpret that. The, the way that I interpret things from when I was 14 and 16 to the way that I see things is now are totally different. And if I would have had somebody to tell me some of the things that I know now when I was 14 to 16 or, or in, 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 that, in that age group, I feel like I, w I would be better off. So I think that one of the biggest problems is, is just um, that amount of free time and people taking the time to acknowledge what, what they need, what the youth in Huntington needs, or whether it be Huntington or anywhere, it's just that, that amount of free time that they have. Uh, do you have some advices for the youth? Uh, that, um, I would just say that you're not a product of your past, and that when you decide to change, then, then that's where things will change. It's not going to be easy, 
Um, but struggle is nothing that's good for you is gonna come easy. And sometimes that you you need to embrace struggle because it's a part of life. Mm -hmm. I feel like a, a lot of times with 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 um the youth, especially me when I got when I was a young age, the frustration that came with with attaining certain things, and then it's just how easy it is to give up. So I think that that, that if if I can give any t if they can take anything away from from me, I would say is that without uh, Frederick Douglass said, um, if there is no struggle, then there can be no progress. So it's just embracing the struggle, learning how to fight through tough times, because that's going to build your character. It's going to show you who you really are. Um, my advice for the youth would be, simply, you're a major. You, you were meant to be great and nothing more. The difference between those two people, the one is, the difference between being great and not being great is just someone who tries and someone who doesn't try. It doesn't matter how you start or... It just it's just about finishing. Thanks. Even if it takes baby steps, everything takes baby steps. You know what I mean? This is how you appreciate growth. You were meant to be great. God gave us all gifts. You know? Everyone has a gift. It's just someone who uses it and someone who doesn't. Simply. Because this is a process where you learn to love yourself. You go through these emotional roller coasters where you start to reflect on yourself and see the beauty in you and you surprise yourself almost but because of that struggle you appreciate every baby step that you make towards succeeding anything that you want to succeed there's nothing that's impossible impossible should never be in your vocabulary from the day that you were born you were meant to be great and nothing more it's just if you're willing to step up to the plate and take the time to love yourself and to go towards those little battles because I feel like life is almost like a dark tunnel. And you go through these little challenges, and you don't know what to expect, but just understand that there's always a light at the end of that tunnel. You know, and God will put people in that tunnel with you to hold your hand through it. And it, that comes with your surroundings. And eventually, you walk out, we walk out of there together. And you know, in this show, we're just trying to walk towards the light together. Yeah, that's it. And um, we just want to thank, um uh, radio. Tell us for that for for the opportunity to to allow us to to be to be a voice to be able to 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 let the youth know that there there are people out there that they can relate to and people that they they can talk to about these issues or or that they, it's okay to to go through the things that you go. So we just want to thank you for giving us that avenue and giving us the opportunity. To, to shed light on some of those things and be positive male role models, the positive male role models that you know we feel like we didn't have, giving us the opportunity to be that. Because at, at the end of the day, look at this show for for instance. Me and him, uh, I think he's done radio before. A little bit. I've never done radio before, so this is a baby step. You know, me putting myself out there. I don't know how this will go, but I'm gonna appreciate the growth. Right now, you see us in t-shirts and, uh, and just regular pants, but we're just normal people just like you, you know? So this is going to be a growth for us, you know? I, I feel like I'm going to change through it, he's going to change through it, because now we're letting our mind wander and we're giving people advice and we're getting different perspectives, but look how we're starting out right now. In a couple of months, this will be a whole different type of view. And, you know, I'm going to enjoy the growth. This is the, the struggle right now because we don't know. But you know what? I feel like life is like, we fear what we don't know, but someone told me, let life surprise you, you know? Instead of disappointing. Actually, my best friend told me that. He, he said, don't, just let life surprise you, you know? Yeah, and just let it flow. So we're going to let this flow, and I think it's going to end up beautiful. Hey, thank you, Malcolm and Patrice for agreeing to answer, to answer my questions. And I wish you good luck for your talk show at Radio Tele Thank you, I appreciate it. Appreciate yeah. it. Okay.